Hello there guys, this is Jack One Day talking here and today I've got another video for you. So in today's video we're going to be talking about the AMD Radon RX 6700 XT. We're going to go through the specs, price and release date. So let's get straight into the specs. The Radon RX 6700 XT will be a graphics card by AMD that is expected to launch in the future. It's built on the 7 nanometer process and based on the Navi 22 graphics processor. In its Navi 22 XT variant, the graphics card supports DirectX 12 Ultimate. This ensures that all modern games will run on the Radon RX 6700 XT. Additionally, the DirectX 12 Ultimate capability guarantees support for hardware ray tracing, variable rate shading and more in upcoming video games. The Navi 22 graphics processor is a large ship with a die area of 335mm squared. It features 2560 shading units aka CUDA cores. There is also 192 texture mapping units and 64 roots. The card also has 40 ray tracing acceleration cores. AMD has paired this card up with 12GB of DDR6 memory which are connected using the 192-bit memory interface. The GPU is operating at a frequency of 1489mHz, which can be boosted up to 2250mHz. Memory is running at 2000mHz, which is 16GB effective. Being a dual slot card, the RX 6700 XT draws power from one 8-pin power connector with power drawn at rated 200 watt maximum. The card requires a suggested 550 watt power supply unit. So the display outputs for this graphics card is following. So there's one HDMI, two display ports and one USB type C. The card is connected to the rest of the system using the PCI Express 4.0 times 16 interface. Getting on to my recommended gaming solutions for this GPU would be anything up to 4K. However, this is heavily dependent on which games you play, such as maybe Minecraft and League of Legends, it would be a breeze. However, Call of Duty and AAA games, on the other hand, you know, you could be struggling to get that FPS you'd be happy with. But again, it all depends on which other components you pair this up with and the graphics options you'd be happy with. But yes, this graphics card is definitely capable of reaching 4K resolutions with a stable frame rate on most games. Feel free to pause the video to take a more in-depth read of all the key features and specs of which I just read out. And now let's get on to price. It's suggested that the RX 6700 XT will cost 399 US dollars. For those in the UK, that's 299 pounds. And for those that want it in euros, that's 330 euros. Lastly, let's talk about the release date. The manufacturer is currently expected to bring the RX 6700 series in January 2021. So that's both the XT and non-XT version. Recently, AMD announced that its CEO and the present doctor, Lisa Su, will host a keynote at the next year's event. The keynote takes place on January the 12th and it will last an hour. AMD is expected to unveil its Ryzen 5000 series and the company is also planning on launching the Navi 22 GPU for the Radon RX 6700 series. The CES 2021 could be a perfect opportunity for the announcement of both products. AMD might also talk about the Threadripper 5000 series based on the Zen 3 architecture. So expect big things to be coming in January on that 12th date in that event and expect the purchase date for this card to be around mid to end January. Please note that a lot of these specs are rumoured and based off speculation, Reddit and other sources online. I'll link a lot of the sources I used down in the description. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you found it useful, then comment that down below and let me know if you've got any thoughts as well. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.